Shalom, shalom, family, elders, Akis, Akotas. Hey, uh, let's let's talk about being demon possessed right quick. First, let me just say that you know my ministry isn't a ministry of being an exorcist. You know, um, I'm not really either. You know, uh, a marriage counselor. <laughs> But my job is in my ministry, as I understand my ministry, isn't so much to cast out a devil in you, but to teach you how to cast the devil out of your own self. See, the time that we read in, in scriptures and precept about the Masha'ak and the disciples casting out unclean spirits, hey, they did it because that was that time for that purpose for those who didn't believe. Today, we are supposed to be able to believe in the creator, Yahuwah, and in the Masha'ak, Yahusha, who has the office of Melchizedek, your priest. Hey, right now I sit here as a moray, a teacher, and my ministry is ordained by Yahuwah, that I have been blessed with the teachings of Yahusha, the law and the prophets. But what I want to share with you today is that you need to learn how to convert, to conform back to Yahuwah. Because I'm going to show you something. It ain't so much the devil who is God attacking you. First, you got to accept that God is the devil with understanding, family, with true understanding. Then you can begin to receive the healings and the blessings that are ordained for you in this world to be healed from God, Satan, the devil, right? If you understand the story of Job, you know, God, the devil, is always looking to attack us. But Job was a righteous man. He hated evil. He hated law breaking of Yahuwah. What do you love? Learn to love the creator Yahuwah. Learn to be obedient to his voice because he is the only one that will give the authority to heal you in the earth through Yahusha. But hey, man, we've been plagued with traditions of our fathers. We have been lied to. We have been schemed against. We have been led astray, but yeah, we turn around and we open up our Bibles and we still read it incorrectly. We still don't put it in perspective with the creator. You got to know you have been deceived in this earth away from your father, the creator, Yahuwah. Even you strangers, you must also come to Yahuwah. But hey, like I say, I'm not an exodus. That's not my ministry. And I'm not a marriage counselor or a psychologist directly. But I have lived long enough and understand through scriptures, through the blessings of the Ruach Kadesh upon me, that yeah, I can give you instructions on how to manage your righteousness toward Yahuwah. I can help you with that. But you got to listen and you got to be ready to step into the role of dealing with the creator. And now you got to. And when you do that, man, your world is going to go upside down first. It ain't going to be a smooth transition to go from Yahuwah, from a God. Because now he got to say, OK, I need to test you and prove you to make sure that you understand that what I'm about to give you, you will Receive it and manage it until death do us part. Because after the resurrection, there's a great kingdom for us, family. But check it out, though. Let's go to Yahu chapter 9, right? I'm going to read a couple of precepts and I'm going to get out of here. So, Yahu chapter 9, family. Verse 12 says, Who is the wise man that may understand this? And who is he to whom the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken? 
that he may declare it for what the land perisheth and is burned up like a wilderness that none pass it through. Hey, the bridge between you and your whore has been burned. Why? Because you are attacked by God. Go back and look at you. But who allowed you to be attacked? Yahuwah did as a test to prove to us today that we have the ability to overcome if we return back to the righteousness, back to the holiness, back to the obedience of the creator. So a God, a devil, a demon cannot attack you without the permission of the creator. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, and Yahuwah said, because they have forsaken my law, which I have set before them and have not obeyed my voice, neither walk therein. Are you going to confess you have forsaken Yahuwah? Even though we are born into deception, which means that we are born into a world full of sin, does not mean that we cannot self-correct and return back to the creator. You don't need an exodus. You don't need a counselor. You need Yahuwah. You need understanding. You need scripture. You need his truth. You need his name. You need his son. You need the law. That's what you need, family. To be set apart from the world that is condemned by God. Satan the devil. If you don't believe and you don't confess your sins, then Satan is still always nipping at your heels. What what did Yahuwah say to Cain? He said, hey, sin is crouching at your door and is looking to consume you. That's an attack. What is the sin? The sin is the way of God, Satan. Sin is the way of God, Satan, family. Hey, he goes on to say, Verse 14, but have walked after the imagination of their own hearts after Baalim, right? Or Baalim, which their fathers taught you. So you start out the gate going the wrong direction. Why? Because your fathers were backwards. So unless you realize that you ride on a donkey facing backwards and decide to turn yourself around, to be going in the right direction. The right direction is Yahuwah because straight and narrow is the gate to Yahuwah. But brawl is the way of Baalam family. Balaam, that road is brawl. God road is brawl and it's full of destructions and traditions and deceptions of men. You need to stand up, you men. And you need to recorrect your understanding in Torah. The five books of Moshe, first and foremost, the law and the prophets, except Yahusha and not the false deities in the earth, except Yahuwah and not the false deities in the earth, because your fathers have taught you the false deities in the earth, have taught you the false messiahs in the earth. I hope you all get this right, family, because the love is real, man. And I just want my people and all people who are seeking to be healed through scriptures of Yahuwah, the word of Yahuwah, figure it out. As a more, I'm sitting here and I'm trying my best with the tools that Yahuwah have given me to help you turn back to the way of righteousness. Hey, with that family, I thank you for your time. I'm never here to convert nobody. You never have to agree with me. It's your choice. So all I ask is to give my information an opportunity. Give Yahuwah an opportunity through Yahusha. And with that family, stay well, stay safe. In Yahusha's name, hope you get some understanding. Hallelujah, Yahuwah.